Good evening everyone and welcome back to my channel. So as you read by the title, I visited X's grave. Not many of you guys know this, but I went to Florida like um like a week before Christmas last year. And then I pretty much stayed there for like a month or so. And like just to see my family, whatever, blah, blah, blah. because you know it's been like three years since I've seen my older brother, sister, nieces, nephews. And so like, it was just like, kind of like a family thing. Last time I went to Florida, I wanted to visit X's grave, but like there was never really like a time for me to do it, whatever, blah, blah, blah. And my mom, she, she, she knows that I like, um, X is my idol, whatever, blah, blah, blah. She knows that um, I listen to him, I like him, whatever, blah, blah. I don't even know how many years it's been since X passed. I think he passed 2019. I could be wrong, 2018. 2022 is finally when I got to see him and go to his grave. Um, So I did record previous clips. I don't know where I'm gonna put them yet. I might just play them right now. Good evening, everyone. As you can see, I'm in a different, I'm in a whole ass place. I'm in a different city. Um different state um out of the country um i've been in florida for three four weeks i'm about to leave anyway um so that's where i've been for like the past two weeks you see i was planning on vlogging down here but i forgot to bring my tripod and it's like holding my phone with my hand like i'm doing right now is a hassle but I wanted to record this little segment because um, I'm here. Here, got the palm trees in it, sheesh. Um, yeah. Um, I decided to record on this day because today I'm going to go see X's grave, basically. Anyway, um, it's like maybe 11 a.m. right now. And because um, I have like two more days down here, like one. Um, I don't have a lot of time, so like that's why I'm doing it so early in the morning. Plus, the cemetery closes at like five or something. Anyway, yeah, I'm not gonna vlog it. I just like, like I've been wanting to go there since he died, and I've had like maybe like one opportunity since then. This is my second opportunity now, and I'm taking it. But um yeah anyway i just want to go there take a couple pictures for you know just like memory's sake because i forget a lot of shit no cap i'd be forgetting shit and it's bad for my age because i'm still a young person but um yeah anyway i just want to go there maybe take a video pictures i don't know just take it in because it's been it's been a while since he died i don't know it's his music just helped me a lot like mentally and i'm forever grateful that i was devastated when he died i'm not gonna lie to you i'm going to see him today and i'm happy and excited about that because like i said i've been wanting to go for a really long time but um yeah i'm gonna tune back to Aaliyah, who is in canada right now because i'll be recording the rest of this in canada and talking about it the rest in canada and yeah anyway back to Aaliyah okay now that we've got that out of the way actually when i recorded that clip i didn't even go visit him the day that i was supposed to because of some complications that happened with my sister blah 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 she had to go to the hospital blah 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 anyway but um i even wore like my ex merch because i knew that like i was gonna see him this time and i packed it and everything so that's what i wore that day um i'll insert some pictures Yeah, I didn't like record anything at his grave, mostly because I didn't really want to or didn't really feel the need to record it. I mean, like there's so many videos online of it like already there. I just like, I simply just wanted a picture 
you know, for my sake. I just want to talk about like how I felt and like why I even decided to go, you know? X, X's music helped me so much. Yeah, X's music is like so depressing, emotional, like there's a lot of stuff that goes into it. And I was listening to his music or like I really found out about his music. Like I say I found out about his music like early high school, maybe grade nine, grade 10, where I was like 14, 15 around that time. And that's like when I started to listen to him. And I think at the time when I started to listen to him, he was still in jail or whatever. And then, yeah, I really just found him on SoundCloud like I did with Juice World. Like I found Juice World on SoundCloud. And it's like, you know, I just, I don't even know why I mentioned that. I thought that was like necessary or something. I don't know. But um, yeah, ever since then, X has been like my number one artist. And when he passed or when I heard that he passed, it really, it really, it really hurt me. I'm not going to lie to you. The whole day when I was hearing news and like Instagram posts or whatever, blah, blah, blah. I was just like, I was like, at first I'm like, there's no way this can be real. Like I was really in denial for like the first couple of days, maybe even weeks because I, I couldn't process that. And I know I'm not the only one, like so many people were hurt when he had passed. And it's just so sad because he died when he was extremely young. Like I'm a, probably going to outlive him. It makes me even more sad to know that like he's not even here with us, but yeah, you know. Anyway, point is I visited X's grave because he was a very important artist in my life. And I just wanted to visit his grave to show that, you know, I did appreciate him. And he does hold value somewhere in my life. Now I wanna talk about like how I felt when I was there. Honestly, it was like, I don't know, it was overwhelming, but very underwhelming at the same time. I don't know, it's like, I don't know, I was expecting myself to get like very emotional, but like surprisingly, I did not. And I think it's because after X passed, I had like, like I would still listen to his music for like the first like year or so after he passed. But like slowly after that, I like kind of just like stopped almost completely. And like, I don't know why it's, it's just the fact that he's gone now. And like, every time I listen to his music, it, it brings me great depression. Like that's how much his death really affected me. Like I can't even listen to his music the same. Like, if you know what I'm saying? Like, sometimes I'll listen to his music if I'm, like, really, like, in a bad mood or, like, I'm feeling very depressed. I kind of just, like, admired his whole, like, gravesite and, like, all of, like, the flowers and notes that people left him. And there were people that were writing on the stones um, near his grave. Honestly, it was very beautiful and well-kept. Honestly, it was really great. Um, I feel like when I'm older and like, I'm still here. Um, I would definitely go visit his grave like on my own time. Like just really just taking his presence, his energy. But honestly, it was a really nice experience. <laughs> no one was there, um, but like people were still visiting his grave, like even into like the new year because I was looking at some notes and like some stones and like, I'm actually so happy and thankful that I got to visit his grave. Like visiting his grave was literally like a bucket list thing for me because I didn't think I was ever gonna like really do it. Like being there was kind of surreal for me because I'm all the, I live in Canada. Like I live all the way in Canada, his grave's all the way in Florida. And I'm like, I'm just lucky enough that I have literally family in Florida that literally lives somewhat close to his grave. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a like, comment, subscribe. I love and appreciate you guys so much. I'm sorry that like, I'm literally not uploading. Like <laughs> I do not want to leave YouTube behind because it is a part of my life. It is something that has helped me pass the time by, take my mind off things, or just like help my mental health in general. But like school and like 
me just like wanting to lay in bed all day they've been clashing with each other way too much and that's what's been really causing me not to upload because there's literally so much stuff i could have vlogged in florida but i chose not to i feel like i'm wasted potential a lot of the times but yeah anyway bye guys i will probably see you next week not so sure about that but probably see y'all next week in the meantime goodbye